A video has emerged of the former Deputy Prime Minister and Nationals leader sprawled on a Canberra pavement. He could be heard talking on his phone using colourful language. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and what do you know? The media's favourite politician is back in the headlines again, with the Daily Mail scoring the exclusive video of Barnaby Joyce flat on his back, mumbling dead f***ing into his phone, and then confessing on Sunrise... I made a big mistake, uh, there's no excuse for it. But he had one all the same, with Barnaby blaming booze and pills. So you mixed alcohol with prescription medication, did you? And this is what happened? That's... That's exactly, that's exactly what I said, yep. And for that, his media mates loved him even more. Come on, we've all been there, haven't we? <laughs> Not quite. Yep, he and Carl are bottle buddies. I just don't see it as a big deal, Brainy, personally. And over on Sky, it was thumbs up. Look, he is. He's a larrikin. He's tough. He'll get over this. He's got that Aussie larrikinism <laughs> thing about him. But I actually think this helps Barnaby. I think it makes him more relatable. It makes right? his supporters like him more. Yes, it was all on brand. The Barnaby brand. He didn't need a paramedic. He needed a pizza. And other supporters poured shame on the punter who recorded Joyce on their phone and flogged it to the press. I am concerned that somebody chose to video it instead of checking if he was OK. It doesn't render any assistance. Yeah. Decides, oh, well, I'll take a video and send it off mm. to the Daily Mail. How un-Australian yeah, can yeah, you yeah. get? Whereas a politician lying in the gutter and swearing his head off, that is true blue. But some journalists think standards actually matter, with Troy Brampson asking, how long must we endure this displacement of our politics by a man so utterly unworthy of public trust and responsibility, while one Labour MP dared to compare Joyce to that great Aussie export, Sir Liz? But we reckon Barnaby, who inspired the bonk band by bonking his staffer, would be proud of the comparison. Sometimes after a long night out on the source, I'd wake up in strange places that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> like in bed with my wife, for example. <laughs> Yes, Les was a great advert for Australia. And so is Joyce, with One Nation's James Ashby keen to hose it all down. What I'll say to Barnaby is, look, it could have been a whole lot worse, mate. You could have shoot yourself. It would have been even worse <laughs> for you. Well, I guess there's always a next time.